I took this watch that my father gave me to Piaget to see if I could find out more about it. My father doesn't recall. Here's Piaget's head of patrimony, who very kindly telephoned head office with the serial number taken on the back of the watch. And then he delivered this feedback to me. So, hello, I'm Jean Bernard Fourot. I am head of patrimony at Piaget. I'm taking care about the heritage of the maison. And I'm very happy to discover your watch. So, what I told you is that uh, this is a model that has been made only in six quantities. So, only six exist of the same model, according to Piaget archives. Uh, this one has been delivered in June 1973. And um, what I said is that at that time, uh, Piaget uh, was uh, having a very limited retail network, so it's own boutique, so we were, we were working with different agents in the world. And one of these agents was Muawad in Saudi Arabia, in Jeddah. And so what we know is that this watch was sold to Jeddah in 1973. After the story, we don't know. Probably your father bought it there or somewhere else. We don't know. So I don't think he remembers either. <laughs> this is the story. And uh, we, we, we are able to tell you this because, in fact, you have numbers behind. And this, those numbers uh, uh, are uh, giving us information about the model for the year and also the movement. And uh, here, in fact, if I may say, you are very lucky because you have an interesting watch from Piaget with a wonderful decoration. You know, Piaget decided to only to gold as of 1957. So is this white gold? Or? Yes, it's white gold. Okay. It's very and, heavy. And uh, Piaget, in fact, uh, had a very great technique. You see the structure of the bracelet and you see that it's engraved on both sides, which is of very high quality. So there is a wonderful flexibility. You don't see any intersection. It's totally mastered, you know, it's fluid, flexible, and uh, perfectly, uh, in fact, if you have worn it or if your father have worn it, you see that this piece uh, yeah. has almost more than 50 years and it's still yes. of very high end quality. It shows you the quality of the manufacturing of that time. I did wonder how this could be adjusted. In terms of, in terms of if my wrist was bigger or smaller. So at that time, in fact, uh, probably because you see there is no no screw on the side. That's right. You had, you had to go back to Piaget to have it uh, adjusted longer yeah. or shorter. Yeah. Or at least a jeweler. Yeah. A watchmaker jeweler can do it probably locally, but uh, yeah. it's uh, because here it does not seem to have been modified. Well. We, at that time, we were not re registering really the size of the bracelet. Uh, I don't think it has been made on purpose, but probably it's depending if, uh, for instance, the agent placed an order of six model for a specific wish. Yeah. So, then in that case, it could have given some specificity. And, and so, to find out why there were only six made, is there any record of that? Would there be no, any record? We, we because, have, as you uh, say, that's very specific. Yeah, we don't have... Uh, we don't have, in fact, the reason why. Yeah. Because uh, at that time, uh, it's a family owned business. So, what they are interested in doing is to create novelties, to have an identity, uh, mixing. And you see it very well. Huh? You have a mastery in watchmaking with a interesting movement. And then you have a wonderful uh, gold artwork. So, you see that there is no border between jewelry and watches. So, so you are lucky. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Isn't that a fantastic discovery?